Hey, what's up? My name's Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm going to be showing you how I've simplified my shipping processes to save time and money. Hopefully you can too. Let's jump into it. The first thing I want to go over are the supplies that you'll need. Uh, anything I mention will be linked down in the description below, whether that's supplies or other information that I might go over. The first thing you'll need is a shipping scale. I really like this one. I got it on Amazon, super cheap. These are very reliable. Uh, they can run on battery power or you can plug them in. Um, and I choose to just plug it in so that I don't have to worry about changing the batteries. The next thing you'll need is a way to print the label or postage that you purchase. Uh, I print my own labels with a thermal label printer, which I'll link one down below. Uh, I just chose the cheapest one on Amazon that had the features that I needed, um, but you can get you know, very expensive ones or other high-end ones, uh, but I recommend just going the cheapest route until you get more established. You also can print on just a normal, regular printer and cut out your label and tape it right onto your package. If you really wanna start bare bones, you can actually get your labels sent to Office Depot and print them there. That's what I did when I first started. It was a huge waste of time, uh, but it helped me you know, get started when I didn't have anything. Also, if you purchase your labels through eBay, you can use a QR code option where you can put in the dimensions and have them scan the QR code at the post office. You take your package already packaged up and they can print the label for you there. Getting your own label printer is going to be the best option in the long term. If you plan to do this uh, and make multiple sales per day for you know multiple months in a row, it really will save you a ton of time and it saves you money on supplies. The labels are very inexpensive and you can even get some for free through UPS. I've been transitioning to selling more and more clothing because it's so easy to store and so easy to ship. So a lot of the methods I'm gonna go over today will refer to shipping clothing, but these principles can be applied to shipping anything. I've shipped anything you can think of under the sun over the last few years, and I can assure you that the sim more simple that you keep your processes and systems, the easier it is to get anything shipped. When it comes to shipping clothing, almost everything that I send goes in one of two things. It either goes into a poly mailer, which is just a plastic bag with an adhesive strip that keeps it closed, or a priority mail flat rate envelope. When it comes to shipping clothing, I mostly send all my items in a poly bag, which is just a plastic bag with an adhesive strip on it. I actually order mine through the company Gyro Pack. There's a link down below in the description, and if you use my code Caleb, you will get 10% off your order. Uh, that's a great way to support the channel, and they have really good products, really good customer service, and really reliable shipping, which are reasons that I keep ordering from them. These are the three sizes I use. This one is roughly 10 by 13. This one is 12 by 15. This is my favorite size. And this one is about 15 by 19. The reason I like this uh, 12 by 15 one is that it fits kind of those like somewhat bulkier items and it also still fits under the pirate ship cubic rate so you can get a discounted shipping rate and still use a simple poly bag. <clears throat> I store my clothing items in these uh, plastic bags which I'll also link down below um, but that really helps you know just shove these in one of these poly bags and not have to think about it and also when you're using um, the flat rate envelope and the padded flat rate envelope uh, it makes it really easy to pack this down into a small tight dense package to fit inside one of those anything under one pound like this button-up shirt for example is just going to go directly in a poly bag um, you don't need this extra layer of the clear plastic bag but i do keep it in there only because it saves me time from unbagging and rebagging and this is just how i store my item to keep myself organized um, but i just throw this whole thing right directly into a poly bag and then this ships by the weight rounded to up to the nearest ounce so let me package this up and show you what i mean So I put that on the scale and I get 9.3 ounces. So I'm gonna round that up to 10 ounces. I'm just gonna put in 10 ounces and you can put in the dimensions, but really they don't matter. It's not gonna change the price when it's under one pound. And this is gonna go ground advantage. So just to recap, anything under one pound is gonna go ground advantage. Ground advantage is pretty easy, but when you get to these things that are over one pound, it can get a little more complex. So here's where we're really gonna save money. These LL Bean flannel line jeans sold to someone in New Jersey and I'm in Ohio which is a pretty close proximity. Um, so if I were to send this just in a poly bag, I think it would cost about $7, $7.50, something like that to pay by the weight ground advantage. But because Pirate Ship offers cubic 
rates. It's a small and dense package, which means this is actually gonna ship for much cheaper if I can order through Pirate Ship. Let me show you the difference. Okay, so I just put this on the scale and it weighs one pound and 10 ounces. So anything over one pound, you're gonna round just to the nearest pound and anything under one pound, you're gonna round to the nearest ounce. So because it's over one pound, even if it's one pound and one ounce, that's going to ship at a two pound rate. So we've entered in two pounds. And now I'm gonna weigh the package quickly. 11 by eight by four. Okay, and you can see here that uh, priority mail is $7.20 and UPS ground is $7.19. Now I'm gonna jump over to Pirate Ship and see what it would cost if I use cubic rate shipping. Okay, once again, this is going from Ohio to New Jersey. So I'm gonna go here first and go to this envelope, padded envelope poly bag section. And the size of my poly bag is 13 by 10, one of the ones I just showed you, and two pounds. And then we're going to get rates. All right, and you can see right here, with Ground Advantage Cubic, it is only $6.26 to ship. So that saves me about a dollar. So if you think about you know, how many of these packages you send, in an entire year, how many dollars you could be saving. This year I sold over 5,000 items. So say on half of those, I'm using this cubic rate, you know, I could be saving $2,000 plus in a year just from using Pirate Ship and going the extra mile. And Pirate Ship integrates so seamlessly, I can actually just go to my uh, eBay tab here and link my eBay store and all of my orders will actually pull up right here uh, very easily. Um, so I definitely recommend using Pirate Ship um, for anything that's gonna go in a poly bag that's over one pound. So the LL Bean Pants were an example of a item that shipped close to me, so the cubic rate was very cheap, but cubic rate or the regular rate, if you're shipping across the country, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. These jeans actually sold to someone in Puerto Rico, which is the farthest zone from where I live. So if I were to just send this priority mail or ground advantage, it would cost nine, ten dollars or so. So that's where the flat rate envelopes come into play. So this is what you're looking for. You can order these on USPS.com or you can pick these up at your local post office. But these ship for $7.60 currently. Those rates do change every once in a while. But instead of spending $9, I'm gonna actually save close to $2 by putting it in this envelope here. So how I do that is I take my package and you don't have to have it in this bag, but it does kind of help it get nice and dense so it fits very easily. I just slide it in sideways and I kind of push out the air from my other bag. And then I'm gonna take this flap and fold it down. And I actually like to do that before I peel the adhesive so I can get it nice and flat. And then I hold it with my left hand and peel from underneath. And now there you go. So this ships for $7.60, whereas it would have been over $9 uh, in a poly bag. I do like to go and take a piece of tape and go over this seal just to make sure that, you know, that glue is going to hold up uh, since it's going quite a ways. There is also a padded flat rate envelope. This is a good thing to have in your arsenal as well. Um, it's just a little bit bigger than the a regular envelope it does cost a little bit more but you can fit slightly bulkier items in here so say you have a really really big size in jeans like a, a 4432 it might have to go in this and same with like a, a sweatshirt or a jacket or a sweater like a lot of times I will still be able to fit them in here but if they don't fit in here most likely they can fit in here so in just those two items we were able to save three dollars so that's about a dollar fifty per item um, so of course you're not gonna save extra on every single item um, but if you're shipping it the cheapest way possible every time you could add up to thousands of savings on top of that i do have my credit card linked to my pirate ship account and to my ebay shipping purchases so i'm earning one percent cash back on all of those purchases um, so i've spent tens of thousands of dollars in shipping this year so it's not a huge savings but that one percent will add up and it's going right back into my pocket if you're a beginner and this seems overwhelming there's a way to set this up on your ebay listing so that you can always charge the buyer the right amount for shipping and you never have to get caught uh, you know, paying extra charges and shipping that the buyer hasn't paid for. Let's jump into my screen and show you what I'm talking about. All right, if you go to Google and just type in eBay business policies, you can see that this link pops up here first. If you click that, it'll take you to this article 
and you can click on this little link here. Uh, you can create and manage policies from the business policies. As you can see here, this pops up your business policies for your eBay account. Um, this can help monitor your payment settings, your return settings, and your shipping settings. So we're gonna go to shipping settings. And as you can see, I have a lot of different things in here, but these are things that I've learned over the course of my business how to use Nuance to find the best way to ship my particular items. But what I'm gonna show you is one business policy that you can set for all of your items to make sure that it's nice and simple, nice and easy, and the buyer is always paying the correct amount or more so you can make a little bit extra on that shipping to cover your shipping supplies and to cover your other expenses. We're going to go here to create policy, shipping policy. We're going to name this USPS Ground Advantage. Then we're going to come here and we're going to go to calculated cost varies by buyer location. So this is gonna make sure that they're charging the right amount based on your location and the buyer's location. So if you're going from Ohio to California, it's gonna be a little more. If you're going from Ohio to the next town over, it's gonna be a little less. Then you come here to USPS Ground Advantage. We're not going to select free shipping because we want the buyer to pay shipping. You can select your handling time. Um, I do recommend one business day if you can do it. Um, I do two business days because uh, my post office sometimes take a, takes a little bit longer to scan things in, and I just wanna make sure that I'm hitting that metric of having my things scanned in on time. But you can choose whatever you need to there. And then you're going to leave this at no international shipping because the ship, international shipping program will apply to you um, if your account qualifies for it, but this is kind of other additional options where you don't need to. And then you can come here and you can exclude any places that you don't want to ship to. But since we're using USPS Ground and, and eBay is charging what it actually costs, you really are pretty safe uh, leaving all these unselected. So then you can go ahead and hit save and then that would be your shipping policy for your listings. Then when you go into your listing, when you go down to the shipping area, you'll select that USPS Ground Advantage business policy and you'll put in the actual weight of your item and the actual dimensions of your item. Be sure to round up a little bit if it needs a box or if it's going to add a little bit of packing material um, to those dimensions and weight. And then once that's in there, eBay will automatically charge what the buyer would pay if they went to a retail store and purchased. So it's actually going to be a little bit more than what it costs us to ship. Then on top of that, if we're able to use the little shipping discounts and ways that we can save money, we can actually increase our profit margins on all of our items by a couple dollars by making a little bit on the shipping. I really hope these settings and little tips and shipping methods and shipping supplies all equaled out to being very helpful in saving you money and time. I know it's really helped me over the years learning these methods and tactics. I have to give one last shout out to Gyropack for making great shipping supplies. Hit the link in the description below and use code CALEB for 10% off your order.